Mark has been married to Tiffany for 20 years. As a successful businessman, he provided a luxurious life for his family, and they had three beautiful children. Tiffany, on the other hand, led a glamorous lifestyle, enjoying expensive clothes and driving fancy cars. With a household staff to take care of the household, she didn't have to worry about anything but her own pleasures. Mark's parents treated Tiffany with open disgust. They felt she was not worthy of their son. Mark's parents constantly argued that the children were nothing like him. Despite their assertions, Mark was adamant that they were wrong. Tension was building and Mark, wanting to prove them wrong, suggested a DNA test to settle the matter once and for all. Mark hesitantly said, Tiffany, I really think we should consider a DNA test. It's important to clear up this uncertainty once and for all. Tiffany angrily replied, What? Are you accusing me of something? How dare you question my fidelity after all these years? Mark, trying to remain calm, said, No, I'm not. I just want to dispel my parents' doubts. It's causing tension in the family, and I thought it might bring us all closer together. Tiffany, angrily, You've got to trust me, Mark. I can't believe you're even considering this ridiculous idea. Mark sighing, It's not about trust, Tiffany. Please try to understand. Tiffany walked away, leaving Mark even more confused and hurt. He decided to take the DNA test in secret, hoping to find peace of mind. A few days later, Mark received the results and his world fell apart. He met Tiffany with tears in his eyes. Mark, angry and resentful, said, How could you do this, Tiffany? None of the children are mine. Tiffany, with tears in her eyes, replied, I am so sorry, Mark. It was a mistake in the past, and I didn't know how to tell you. Please forgive me. Mark, angry, said, Forgive you? It's too complicated. All three children are not mine. You cheated on me from the beginning. You married me knowing that the baby wasn't mine. And then you didn't get pregnant by me two more times. Tiffany left, sobbing, and Mark was left to pick up the pieces of his shattered life. He couldn't stay in the same house with Tiffany anymore. A few days later, they met again to discuss the future. Mark said firmly, Tiffany, I can't go on with this marriage. I want a divorce and I want nothing to do with the children. Let their biological father or fathers take care of him. Tiffany, regretfully, Mark, I understand if you can't forgive me, but please don't leave the children. They need both of us. Mark, determined, I don't want to raise other people's children and let their father or fathers do it. I've already done enough for them. With the money I spent on my kids, I could have gone into space. Tiffany, crying, I will do anything to make this right, Mark. Please, let's find a way to move on. Mark, emotionally detached, I have made my decision. I want you to leave the house and take the children with you. They need to be with their real fathers. As Tiffany left with the children, Mark's heart was heavy with grief and disappointment. He had a hard time accepting the truth, but felt it was best for everyone. Mark focused on rebuilding his life and embracing the simplicity he had once rejected. He couldn't erase the memories of the family he had cherished for so long, but he knew he had to find his own path to recovery and happiness. Tiffany had no choice but to go to the children's real father, Beale. She had known him from an early age. He was her first love. Beale came from a poor family, and Tiffany's parents had forbidden her to see him. Now he worked on the farm his father had left him. He was happy to have Tiffany, and his children live with him. As Tiffany and the children settled into their new life with Bill, they found it difficult to adjust to the unfamiliar surroundings. The children struggled to come to terms with their new reality, and their unhappiness manifested itself in frequent fights and arguments with Tiffany. 
The children, angry and frustrated, would say, Why did you lie to us, mother? How can this farm worker be our real father? Tiffany, patiently, I am sorry, my children. I made a mistake, but your father loves you very much. Give him a chance, and you will see how much he cares for you. Despite Tiffany's attempts to reassure them, the children had a hard time accepting the new, less privileged way of life on the farm. They had never done anything with their hands before even their room was cleaned by a maid. The children complained, Why do we have to live on this farm? We used to have a beautiful house and everything we wanted. Tiffany tried to explain, Material things are not everything, my dears. Your father is a hard-working man and we have a chance to live a simpler and more meaningful life. But the children's resentment would not subside, leading to emotional outbursts and constant turmoil in the family. Meanwhile, Bill struggled to make ends meet on the farm, and it became clear that he could not support the family alone. Tiffany understood the children. It was very difficult for her too. At times she hated herself for getting involved with Bill. With a heavy heart, Tiffany took a job as a waitress at a local bar to help support her family financially. As she struggled to provide for her children, her dissatisfaction with Bill and her new lifestyle continued. Despite the initial difficulties, over time, the family began to find its rhythm. Tiffany's devotion to the children and Bill's unwavering love gradually bridged the gap, and the children began to see the warmth and care in their real father's heart. In time, the children saw the beauty of the simplicity of the farm, the joy of nature, and the strength of the family bond. They began to appreciate the sense of community and the importance of hard work that Bill had instilled in them. Tiffany said with a smile, That's the spirit, my dears. Life doesn't always go according to plan, but it's the love and support we give each other that really matters. With time and understanding, the children began to accept Bill as a true father, appreciating his genuine love and devotion. The farm became a place of growth, love and acceptance, and the family created a bond stronger than any material possessions. As they faced the challenges of life together, they learned valuable lessons in humility, gratitude, and the resilience of the human spirit. And though they left behind the luxurious life they once knew, they gained something even more precious, the beauty of a loving family that cherishes one another.